Hey there, this is the Easy Webinar Support Team. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to walk you through uh, one of the most important features of Easy Webinar, which is its ability to seamlessly integrate with CRMs. Now, even though we have different CRMs at our disposal in this video, we're going to walk you through the integration of Easy Webinar with HubSpot CRM. Now, we recommend that before you start watching this video, you already have an active HubSpot account. As you can see on the screen, my account is visible. The first thing that you need to do is go over to the contacts option in the top uh, nav bar of the page. Hit the contacts button and you'll find an option called lists. Click on lists. You'll be led to a page wherein you'll be able to create a list of your own. Now, what's the objective of creating such a list? Uh, here's the create list button right there. The objective of creating the list is to ensure that all the registrant information uh, get seamlessly integrated into HubSpot when you're conducting your live webinar or your automated webinar. So let's give the list name a dummy name, say for example, testing uh, 111. You can give it a description if you want, you may not, but let's just give it an optional description just for the sake of this video. Now, in terms of the kind of list that you're going to create, please make it a point that uh, this will always be a static list. Then we click next. And don't forget to save the list as well. As soon as the list is saved, your work in HubSpot for the moment is done. The next thing that you need to do is actually move over to your uh, Easy Webinar account. Now, in your Easy Webinar account, if you're using version V1, actually, irrespective of whether you're using version V1 or V2, you will have the option to click on the profile icon. If it's V1, then you'll find the profile icon in the top right corner of the page. If it's V2, you'll find the profile icon somewhere in the bottom left corner of the page. So let's go forward with the V2 version just for the sake of simplicity. So we click on the profile icon and click on integration. What we're trying to do here is to integrate our easy webinar account with the already active account in HubSpot so that the information gets synced. Now you see there are several CRMs that you can integrate EW with. We are going to choose the one that we want to show in this video, which is HubSpot. Uh, now it's, it's showing a message that HubSpot account is connected with Easy Webinar. That's because prior to the video, I'd already created, um, you know, the connection. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and disconnect the integration and try connecting once again, just to show you guys the process. So click on connect your account now. Wait for the page to load. So you see all accounts which have uh, been registered with the domain easywebinar.com have uh, let's call this an ID or a serial number that ends with as you can see double nine eight so all you have to do is just click uh, the account that comes to you which in my case I had registered uh, you know with the domain easywebinar.com and I choose the account as will you and after agreeing to the terms and conditions, we click on connect app and you know, the account is set up already. Now, at this point, we have covered two things. First, we've set up our HubSpot account. We've set up our list as well, wherein the information is going to come. Uh, we've also integrated our application, our easy webinar application with the HubSpot application, right? Now, how do we know, how do we understand, or how do we connect a webinar's information and ensure that it gets successfully saved in the list uh, that you've created in HubSpot? Pretty simple. Just take any event of your choice. So for uh, the sake of this video, I'm going to consider, say, an automated gold webinar. So let's choose uh, a gold webinar of our own. Say, for example, I choose, um, right, cooking masterclass because I do need it. Uh, so let's move over to uh, the registration page, right? You can see that in the top right corner of the page. And this is how the registration page of the webinar looks, right? Now, before we actually go ahead and test the integration, we haven't really done the most important step, and that is connect this particular webinar to the list in HubSpot. So how do we do that? We click on the integration option, wait for the page to load, select the CRM you want to connect to, which in our case is HubSpot, the integration we've already uh, completed. Now you see, uh, there's, there's, there's a portion, there's a section which asks you for an action value pair. Now, what does this mean? This allows you to perform an action 
based on the category of users that visit your webinar. These can be users who've just registered for your webinar. These can be users who've just attended your webinar. These can be users you've missed your webinar as well. So depending on the category or classification of users, you can actually add them to different buckets and then see how they seamlessly integrate to your list. So just to show you, let's select the category of registered users and uh, let's do something like this. If a user registers to my webinar, then I'm going to add it to a list. Now, what list should I add it to? Now, do we remember the name of the list that we had created? Right, that was testing 111. So you see, as soon as I perform the integration of EW with HubSpot, the list automatically gets updated, the new list that I created. So I'm going to click on test 111, hit save, and this should work perfectly fine. So at this point, we have established our action. We have given it, a, a, you know, an action depending on a particular step that we have taken, right? So this is done. Now, ideally the registration, I'm sorry, ideally the integration is done. But how do we know if it's actually done? Simple. Let's just register for this webinar and check if our name gets uploaded into the list or not. So I'm going to add my name here for the sake of this video. I'm going to add uh, my official email ID and then I'm going to click on register now. So if I'm registering for the webinar, then according to uh, the snippet that we just recorded, it should... Um, it's a very simple dish. Sorry. It should, um, you know, integrate with the HubSpot list that I've created too. So how do I know if it, it, if it has at all done so? Very simple. Go back to my HubSpot account. Click on lists again. Click on the list that we just created, which is testing 111. Now, at the moment, the list size is zero, so it looks like the integration hasn't happened. But uh, please remember, guys, that it might take a couple of retries and refreshes before, you know, the list gets updated. So please do hold on for some time. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we have our um, credentials stored in the list, which basically means that since I registered for the webinar, my information is there updated in the list. So this is the first part of the video that we want to focus on, which is very simple. How to integrate, how to connect, first of all, how just create an account of your own in HubSpot, set up your list, uh, connect your Easy Webinar account with your HubSpot account. And once that's done, uh, register for a particular webinar and just see how your credentials get saved in uh, the CRM, right? The second part of uh, this video is going to focus more on how we can create custom fields on HubSpot. Um, it's, it's really, really simple, but let's just uh, go through it once together. So as you can see on the screen, I clicked on contacts and then I have a button um, in sort of uh, the right portion of the screen which says actions. So you click on actions and you click on edit properties. This is where you'll be led to a section which allows you to create a property of your own. So we're going to create a property and call it contact. We're going to select a group um, contact information. Now, for the sake of this video and for the sake of this integration, there's an important point which you need to remember here. Please ensure that at any point of time, the name of your custom field in HubSpot or in any CRM the name of the field or the name of the property in your CRM has to definitely match the name of the custom field in EW. What does that mean? Just uh, to show you what this means, let's just look at the webinar which we had created previously, right? Which is this cooking masterclass. Now, if you click on fields slash custom fields, this particular area, we see there are different custom fields which we can set up, right? Webinar join link, webinar short link, webinar replay link. Now, our objective would be to sync up the custom field of EW with the custom field in HubSpot. And that happens only when this label name and the custom field name are the same. Right? So please keep that in mind. So just for the sake of this video, let's consider that we're going to work with the webinar join link. So let's just give this the label name. Okay, this name already exists. So, uh, you know, we had tested this out before this video was recorded. So I'll choose a different label and I'll hope that it's not something we worked with. Great. So let's just give it the same description. Click on next. Um, let's select the field type as multi-line. Let's call... Um, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the description, uh, the sample text as the name of the field itself. Right. And click on next. Right. Let's just let's just keep it the way it is. And we create 
this particular property. So we see here that the webinar short link has been created. If you want to see if it has been created or not, for sure, very simple. Uh, just go to the search property option and you type the name of the field, name of the property that you thought you created. So let's call it webinar short link and click on search and you'll see that this field has been created successfully. Now the next step for us, so you've created the property in HubSpot, right? So what's the next step? To ensure that the integration between these two custom fields, between the field in Easy Webinar and the field in HubSpot actually has happened or not. Otherwise there won't be any integration to talk about. So to do that, what do we do? Uh, please do ensure to reload the tags. Why again? There might be internet connectivity issues. Sometimes, you know, update up, update of the tags, take a bit of time, take a bit of bandwidth as well. So you might, might try refreshing it a bit. So we reload the tag and we move over to the field webinar short link for whom we've created the custom field in HubSpot. So we go to the drop down, we click on it. And unfortunately, there's no search option here, but we do want to introduce this in the future. Right. So um, we have to just manually go down and check if you come across any custom field called webinar short link as you see webinar short link is right here right so what does it mean this means that the property that you created in hubspot has actually synced up with the property with the custom field of property in your ew account so whatever information regarding the short link of a customer is updated in ew will automatically also be updated in hubspot right um, right, so you do that, you hit on save and voila, your work is done. So yeah, so this was uh, pretty much everything we wanted to show you uh, with regard to uh, the integration of HubSpot with Easy Webinar. First was how you can seamlessly do you know, the integration and ensure that the registered information actually gets transferred. And the second thing we wanted to show is how you can set up the custom fields in HubSpot. Um, we, we will walk you next. Uh, we will walk you through next. Uh, you know the integration of Easy Webinar with Active Campaign. Yet again, one of the most popular CRMs which we come across. Uh, you know while we work with customers across the world. So uh, see you in the next video. I hope I hope you have a great day. And uh, till then, take care. Bye bye. See you soon. Thank you.